this is Anglia Television, broadcasting a full colour service in the east of England from the transmitters of the Independent Broadcasting Authority. to you from Anglia. It's Tuesday the 26th of April. In a minute we start our programmes for schools. Hello. I've got some money here that I want to save. These pennies. If I want to know how much money I've got here, all I have to do is to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pence. That's the way I'd do it, and I expect that's the way you would do it, too. But how about Mr. Punch? Oh, haven't I saved a lot of pennies? I wonder how many I've got. One, two, three... Spiders for my tea! Spiders for your tea? One, two, three, spiders for my tea! No, oh, Mr. Punch, do be quiet. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three... What is your two, three? What am I doing, Mr. Punch? I'm trying to count my money. Now, will you be quiet? I'm doing it. Right. One, two, three, four. How much money have I got, Judy? How much money have I got, Mr. Punch? How do I know how much money I've got when you keep talking to me? Now, will you be quiet? I'm doing it. Right. One, two. Oh, be quiet, Judy. Mr. Punch. Do it, do it. How much money have I got, Judy? How much money have I got? Oh, just a punch. Oh, sorry. One, two, three. Baby, what's this day? One, two, three. Baby. Mr. Punch. Oh, how much money have I got, Judy? How much money have I got? I don't know, do I? Because every time I start to count it, you make me forget where I'm up to. Oh, Judy. Oh, I'm sorry, Judy. All right. If you're really sorry, we'll try once more. Right, Judy. And don't keep saying right, Judy. Right, Judy. Quiet. Quiet. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Ten, 
<laughs> Mr. Punk! Well, what would have it got, Judy? I don't know how much money I've got, do I? Because I never know how much money I've got because I can't count it. Oh, 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 oh poor old Judy. Oh, oh, do it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, do it, ten. That's the way to do it. Judy! Oh, Judy! Yes, Mr. Punch? You've oh, got oh, ten pence! I've got ten pence! One, Ow. two, Ow. three... At seven o'clock in the morning, I get up out of bed. I wash myself and brush my head, just as my mummy said. I dress myself and go downstairs, my breakfast is at eight. My school begins at nine o'clock, I know I mustn't be late. I work from nine in the morning till twelve o'clock midday. And then I eat my dinner and I go outside to play. School starts at half past one, I work till half past three. Then I have to hurry home, it's four o'clock and tea. Mummy lets me go on playing or see what's on TV. My dad comes in at six o'clock and sometimes plays with me. At seven o'clock it's time for bed. I snuggle down and peep. But I'm really very tired and by eight o'clock I'm asleep. Sam was looking after Smudge. He thought that Smudge might like a run in the garden. So he started to untie the string that fastened the hutch door. Get out of the way, nosy, he said to Squeak. You're too small to undo knots. And stop nibbling the string. Sam put Smudge on the lawn and gave him an apple core. He nibbled it hungrily. Isn't he greedy, said Sam. He's eaten that apple core already. Dad was planting lupins. Mind he doesn't eat my lupins, he said. Rabbits don't eat lupins, said Sam. After hopping round and round the dustbin, Smudge hid under the shed. Come out, Sam called. Here are some carrots. Come on out, good boy. And Smudge came for the carrots. Isn't he greedy, said Sam. Now he's gobbled up two carrots. Mind he doesn't gobble up my lupins, called Dad. Rabbits don't eat lupins, said Sam. Then Smudge raced round and round Mum's basket of washing. He knocked it over. Oh, come here, Sam shouted. I've got some lettuce leaves for you. Smudge paused and crammed the lettuce leaves into his mouth. Look at that, said Sam. Now he's chewed up three lettuce leaves. Watch he doesn't chew up my lupins, said Dad. Rabbits don't eat lupins, said Sam. Come here, rabbit, cried Sam, charging after Smudge. Just then, Smudge took a flying leap. He landed on the rockery out of Sam's reach. Please come here, Sam begged, holding up some dandelions. Smudge jumped down and stuffed the dandelions into his mouth. Isn't he greedy, said Sam. He's just swallowed four dandelions. Well, take care, he doesn't swallow my lupins, said Dad. Rabbits don't eat lupins, said Sam. Well, that's enough. Put him back in his hutch, Dad shouted. But Smudge didn't want to be caught. He ran round and round the prickly rose bushes where Sam couldn't follow. He jumped over the rockery, onto the hutch, and then back onto the lupins. Then he hopped round and round Dad's spade. Catch that rabbit, Dad shouted. Get him off the lupins. Rabbits don't eat lupins, said Sam. Smudge stopped because he'd found a patch of clover. Greedy rabbit, said Sam. Do you know what he's had to eat? He's had one apple core two carrots, three lettuce leaves, four dandelions, and now five pink clovers. He's done nothing but eat. Sam made a grab, and this time he caught Smudge. You can't still be hungry, he told him firmly. He put him back in the hutch and tied the string. Later, Sam went into the garden again. Oh dear, the rabbit hutch door was open. The string had been chewed and Squeak was looking very guilty. Smudge was on the lawn. He was still eating. Isn't he greedy, said Sam. 
Then he noticed Dad's lupins. Oh, squeak. Now look what you've done. Rabbits do eat lupins. Do you remember our song about time? Here it is again. Perhaps you'd like to sing it too. At seven o'clock in the morning, I get up out of bed. I wash myself and brush my head, just as my mummy said. I dress myself and go downstairs. My breakfast is at eight. My school begins at nine o'clock. I know I mustn't be late. It's nearly time for me to go now. Can you remember some of the things you've seen today? You've seen ten pennies, five clovers, four dandelions, three lettuce leaves, two carrots, one apple core, salmon squeak, one punch, one Judy, and me. Bye. Parents can obtain copies of the Salmon Squeak stories from Educational Mailing Services, Department SS, The Old Library, Margate CT9 1RB. The pack of eight different titles costs £2.50 and teachers wishing to place late orders should contact their local ITV education officer.